जाते हो पहले रब के सामने तुम हाथ धाते हो फिर मखलूक की खिदमत में तुम झुक जाते हो दूध की ये नेमत हम तक पहुंचाते हो तूने जीवन की तस्वीरें रंगों में है ढाली तेरे दम से है आती हर घर में खुशहाली खुशहाली हो अनमोल खजाना है हर बीमारी हर तकलीफ से तुमने इन्हें बचाना है याद है रखना तुमने अपनी पैदावार बढ़ाना है आ गई और इल्म के हर पहलू को अपनाना है हो जो सेहतमंद कौम समझो हमने मंजिल पाली खुशहाली हो खुशहाली हमारा और खुद से भी है पैमान तंदुरुस्ती और सेहत बनेगी यूं ही हम सबकी पहचान धरती होगी शान हमारी हम होंगे धरती का मान तेरी हमने खुशहाली की राहों में मारी है जान और तरक्की की ये राहें हम सब ने है अपना ली खुशहाली हो Assalamu alaikum viewers Ruby Anam and Dr Nasir Jawed your host welcome you to this program viewers as you know Dairy Hub is a development project which aims at working towards the well-being of farmers and their animals through this project we are training farmers to handle various day-to-day -day problems associated with dairy farming improvement of their animals health and ultimately increasing their animals productivity today's program deals with the importance of wheat straw in feeding of animals as you know in pakistan wheat straw and rice straw is used for feeding the animals today we have invited dr professor makhdoom abdul jabbar to our program makhdoom abdul jabbar sahab is the chairman of department of nutrition at the university of veterinary and animal sciences lahore dr saib Thank you very much for sparing time from your busy schedule for our brother farmers. My first question to you, Dr. Saheb, is what is the role of wheat straw in animal feed? Thank you, Ruby. Actually, wheat straw plays a vital role in animals feed. In Pakistan, as well as most Asian countries, we feed animals on fodder, which is of two types: green and dry roughages. Wheat straw and rice straw from dry roughages. It is fed to animals in various ways. Most often it is mixed with green fodder or concentrates for feeding to animals in order to meet their daily nutritional requirements. Therefore, wheat straw plays an important role in animal feed. Dr. Saab, I would like to ask you another question. Often it is observed that during fodder shortage seasons, farmers only feed their animals with wheat straw. Does this meet their nutritional needs? Actually if we study the nutritional value of wheat straw it comprises of only 2 to 2.5% of protein it is only 40% digestible and animals do not like its taste too therefore it is essential 
that not only should it be made more nutritious but also more palatable as for meeting nutritional needs the average animal requires 12 to 13% of protein in their daily feed so no matter how much wheat straw is fed its nutritional needs cannot be fulfilled feed comprising only of wheat straw might satisfy their appetites but it would not meet their nutritional needs for good production so it is important that wheat straw is either mixed well with good quality fodder or concentrates for animal feeding dr saheb wheat straw used for animal feed is widespread in pakistan is there any way in which we can improve its nutritive value as i mentioned earlier wheat straw is not very nutritious but we can use different approaches to make it better the easiest way is to treat it with urea which increases its protein from 2% to 6 to 7% and also makes it more digestible and animals eat it more easily the same process can also be used on rice straw which shows better results that even wheat straw and animals who do have not found rice straw appetizing do feed more happily on it after treatment however it should not be mistaken that after treatment wheat straw can substitute fodder or concentrates it must be mixed with them to provide best nutrition dr saab can we treat wheat straw with something along with urea as well yes definitely if mixed with molasses it can compensate for the energy factor in animals and if mineral salts are also added to it this will result in better feeding and higher productivity these additives are ideal for enriching wheat straw come let's watch the process of wheat straw enrichment in our country during fodder shortage times wheat straw is commonly fed to animals as a substitute 99% dairy farmers mix this carbohydrate with green fodder to feed their animals As wheat straw is dry it is indigestible and not liked by animals. It does not even meet their daily nutritional needs. So in order to enrich it it is either treated with urea and molasses. Essential ingredients for wheat straw enrichment. Wheat straw 100 kg urea 4 kg water 50 liters molasses 10 to 15 kg polythene sheet method for preparation mix 4 kg of urea in 50 liters water slowly and stir well until urea dissolves well in it ensure that all the urea has been dissolved in water this amount is sufficient for 100 kg of wheat straw Spread a layer of wheat straw on a clean surface and spray molasses onto it or sprinkle well manually. Then keep mixing it up and spread another layer of wheat straw and repeat the same process till the ingredients are used up. Finally press the layers of wheat straw firmly in order to expel all air within the layers and then cover it with the polythene sheet. Seal this with mud plaster in order to protect it from air and humidity. This will be ready for feeding animals after 3 weeks. Dr. Saab, what are the things farmers need to be careful about during the process of wheat straw enrichment? Firstly, it is important to dissolve urea well in water during the treatment process so that no sediment remains. Secondly, it is important to mix the solution well with the dry wheat straw and pressing the layers tightly in order to expel any air lastly after covering the layers of wheat straw with the polythene it is important to seal it mud plastering it my last question is that how much wheat straw per animal should farmers be feeding their animals and what precautions should be kept in mind while feeding it to animals well 4 to 5 kg of treated wheat straw can be fed per animal 
However, sometimes a reaction may occur in the animal and in such a case it can be countered by feeding the animal vinegar or a solution of bicarbonate of soda. Let us watch what Chaudhry Abdul Hamid and Fazlu are doing. So tell me Fazlu, is everything going well? Well, it was going well previously, but I cannot say anything about now. What do you mean? You don't know about now. Because now you are here. I behave you. Don't talk nonsense like your face. So what should I talk like? Your hollow face? Shut up and work carefully. Shidya? Oh Shidya. Yes, Chaudhary sahab. So how is the wheat straw getting along? Very well, Chaudhary sahab. Work really hard to make it. As you know, this is what we fall back on in the time of fodder shortage. Sure, Chaudhary sahab. Bless you. Who do you fall back on, Chaudhary? Tell me too. <laughs> Saima ji, you misunderstood. It's not what you are thinking. I was talking about this blessed weed straw, which we feed our animals in days of fodder shortage. Oh, Chaudhary, no matter how much amount of wheat straw the animals may eat, it has very poor nutritional value. It may satisfy their appetites, but really doesn't provide them any energy. Saima ji, then what should be done? Listen, Chaudhary, wheat straw can be enriched. Really? But how? Mix urea and molasses in water. Spray this mixture on wheat straw in layers and then seal it. Then it can be fed to animals after 20 days. But Saima ji, will it then fulfill nutritional needs? Oh Chaudhary, wheat straw is not a substitute for fodder. But by enriching it, it can, to a certain extent, meet the animal's nutritional needs. Very well then Saima ji, this is exactly what we will do. Hey Fazlu, Present, sir. quickly go arrange for urea and molasses. Okay Chaudhary sahab, here I go. Thank you very much Saima ji. You are so good and kind to come and tell us such useful things. Dr. Sahib, thank you so much for appearing on our show and informing us and our farmers about such an important issue. Viewers, you heard Chaudhary Sahib, Fazlu and Saima Ji and also got good advice from Dr. Makhdoom Abdul Jabbar. In today's show, we came to know about the importance of wheat straw and how it can be enriched. Usually, wheat straw is good if used by mixing with green fodder. But if there is no green fodder, we can enrich wheat straw by treating it with urea and molasses. Now that we have passed on such an excellent information to our brother farmers, they must use it and benefit themselves as well as their country. Now we come to the end of this program. I and Dr. Nasser will take a leave and be back soon to bring you yet another interesting topic of Dairy Hub training programs. Allah Hafiz. <laughs>